your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about Hello guys and today I'll be showing you how to make my logo or a similar way with different colour with smash glass and to be fair this looks not good like I think I did a good job on this one so I'll be showing you how to do it. Alright first things first go into Photoshop and go to file new you want to name it your logo so I'm just going to do logo uh, tutorial then you want to go to preset custom width you want to do 1024 same again for heights of 1024 resolution 72 just copy this transparent and there we go we have our logo base now you just want to go into your documents and get uh, a black background let me just find it and should be here somewhere and here it is somewhere <laughs> if I can find it uh -oh. not that organized oh no this is awkward okay what background we have the white background <laughs> that's embarrassing this is I found it earlier where is it where is it there it is we found it guys now you are all you want to do is drag it and make it the size of your logo all right next step is to you see these ruler lines here if you don't have the ruler lines what we got to do to go to view pick rulers and they go get your ruler line drag it down and it'll lock in at halfway which is about here look it's locked in you do the same with this ruler over here like that and there you go now you want to get the text and then you want to click there and type in what the initials of your channel name would be so if you're named like uh, me called strong block z i'm doing the first letter of each word so strong block z so s b z so lo the text font you want to be is called batman forever alternate i will have a link in the description it's really easy to download all you gotta do is go to download download simple there you go so there we go sbz there we go and then once you've done that you want to drag it to the center and then you want to resize it so you just got to play around with the size how much you think you'll fit in so i'd say about 300 maybe more than that 400 Mm, I'll say 410 maybe. Yep, 410, that sounds about right. So 410 is about right for that. You probably get around, uh, get uh, where well, doing a bit more, but now you want to make it wider. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you just hold shift and drag it like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter, well, it does matter how big you want it, it's really up to personal preferences. So it's like that. There we go. S and B Z. You want to get a tick, and there we are. Next step is to go to the text layer here, click, right-click it, and go to rasterize text. Where, where that? Let me get it. Lost it. <laughs> oh, I'm blind. Rasterize type. That's what I was looking for. Then once you've done that, you want to go to this here, magic one tool. Uh, actually, you want to go. Uh, no, it's so good. You want to go to this third drop down here and go to polygonal lasso tool. Polygonal lasso tool. And once you've done that, you want to zoom in to about 200%. Once you've done that, we're making the cracks, which is basically like this. So you go. So you want to make it in triangle chunks, just like that. And then when you've done that, you go onto the move tool. When you've done that. Go like that and you make the spacing a bit not like this, not like that, that's too close. We make about about there, perfect. Once you've done that, go back into the tool, polygon and lasso tool, and do it again. So if you do go, go like that, don't make it uh, too many, just how much you think. You all you gotta do is do that, and you can just move them just like that. Alright, guys, I'll get back to you when I finish doing that. 
All right, guys. As you can see, I've just done that. Just a vaguely, uh, not vaguely, just basically gone round all around here. Have I've rushed it a bit because on my actual logo, I spend a bit of time doing it. But if you guys want to spend a bit of time with it, you can really plan it out. But I've just gone along with this. So once you've done this, you want to go onto Google Images and ignore that. We've just gone to this, and you want to type in the color text you want. So if you want a blue, you type in blue texture. If you want a red, you type in red texture. You type in gold, green, etc. Get what I'm saying. So as soon as you uh, got your texture, it always comes up whatever texture you want. And I've found out that I would like this one right here. What you gotta do is save that image as, and save it into your documents. And once you've done that, go back to, onto Photoshop and go to File, Place. And find your uh, thing you saved it as and red gunge there it is and you want to align it over here just like that like that let's just zoom out a bit you know so you can see what we're doing you want to align it just like that you trust me uh, don't get all the way because it might just mess up something in the future just go as close as you can to the edge just like that and click on this little drop down box over here where it says normal and click multiply and feast your eyes ladies and gentlemen you've just created your first amazing text <laughs> or whatever yeah as you can see it's looking all right um yeah i'm liking it it's not that bad is it and once you've done that we gotta just click off and there you have it you're nearly done guys all we gotta do is add some effects so go back onto your text layer and as you can see we need to zoom in 200% yep perfect now once you've clicked on your text layer you want to go to magic wand tool hold shift and click on all the pieces you cut out just the pieces not any of these massive chunks just the pieces you made oh that was a bit of a big chunk yeah so all the pieces you've done not the chunks that you actually think you get what i'm saying basically just these chunks here there you go you want to get all of them want to make sure we get them all it's that one that one and let's check if we've got them all no we didn't we'll check if we've got them all don't want to miss one out because it's important and there we go and you want to click control uh Control J. And once you've done that, you have created a copy of that, what you've just done. Now, you want to get this layer, double click it, and go on to Drop Shadow. And once you're on that, you want to go to, you want to start, you want to go on Normal. Once you're on Normal, you need to click the size to so about, let's just look at the photo, to so about, mm, about about 9800 as long as you're accurate you're fine then you want to go to what else is it uh uh well i made a rabbit noise then so i'm just gonna mess around with it in a shadow let's not mess around with that it's just mainly drop shadow so we want to get the spread mess around with spread just mess around with these settings i'll we'll get the uh, opacity to 100 and make sure we're getting it right you know there you have it and what else are we doing? Do the distance, just mess around with the distance. On the distance, but they want the spread. Out right here. Oh, what happened there? Yep, that's about right. Mm, I'm happy with that. We can go back to it in, in the, the future. But yeah, we are on track. Alright, let's zoom back out. Uh, what we're doing? Zoom out. Again, out, and we are looking good with this part. Now, you want to download the Smash Glass in the description below and place it in, just like this. As you can see, the glass is red, but it should be. Uh, where is it? <laughs> I can't see. It. I don't know why. Smash Glass. It should be blue, but it's red. As you can see, the do you know that when we place that red bit thing on the, uh, the, the thing it's also uh, counteracted with this so when we want this all we got to do 
is place it in the in your no I don't do that you want to make it larger to about the screen size the width of the screen and you want to go about what you got to do is drag this down tick it drag it down a layer and again and there we have it now I just want to mess around with this so make, make sure you don't see the actual uh, the blue bits showing and this is when we go back to the red and we drag that as wide as you can and tick and you go back onto the smash glass and there you have it you can mess around with it so there you go you click ctrl j so you can duplicate the layer then you just drag it over and then you uh, put that in front of that because you want it to overlay and then when you've done that you just go uh, about there you can control J again drag that down drag down here control J again <laughs> you get what I'm saying you just mess around with these settings not settings what am I on about I need to uh, add and uh, change this a bit okay just drag that down there up there boom and then go back onto one we just we're editing uh, I think it was that one you want that to be above everyone else so it doesn't like get in the way and I just want to get this all perfect and finalized uh, you want that to be above that I don't have to block out too much because it's hard to actually get the right you know uh, overlay sort of thing because they all counteract with each other uh, I want that to be on top actually uh, that's looking good it's just the top right corner I'm worried about I'm gonna rotate it see if that works I can do it oblong like this just messing around with it at this point what I gotta do I wanna see uh, see if it works like this I don't think it will so I think we're gonna have to do this yep I'm gonna have to do a uh, this is where I got stuck last time. All you gotta do is just mess around with it. Like I said, <laughs> at this point, guys, you're probably not even watching because you want to build it because you're anxious. Hopefully, yeah, that'll work. I don't think that you can overlay it, but you know, let's just control J that again and add that up there. You wanna make that bigger than that one. But bigger than that one looking good I'm happy with that I am 100% happy with it and once you know you're happy with it what you gotta do is go to file save as click on this drop down menu PNG and we're saving it smallest load you wait about five seconds and voila you guys are done I'll show you the finished product. All right, let's go straight into the pictures. You wanna to go to where you saved it, and you wanna to go to your PNG of your logo. All right, guys, you've just made your logo. What round of applause to you. You've made a pretty damn good logo, to be fair. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, and see you guys in my next tutorial. All right, guys, see you later.